Welcome to another episode of Gary Plays Doc's Dungeon. My name is Gary Butterfield. Well, this is the the Duckfeed Memorial Dungeon Estate. Ruin has come to this network. I'm going to fight a boss today. This is going to be loaded up for the foreseeable. I'm getting rid of garbage. I'm locking in good stuff. Sick of losing good traits. Still no uh, coal, too. Over here, I'm jammed up with Rift Watchers. Uh... We're going to go fight the Swine God, uh, which makes me pretty nervous. Honestly, I could go do this fresh air in the tunnels to make it a little easier, but I'm not going to. Uh, I don't like that this boss is hard. Um, but we're going to get this uh, Deceiver's Hairband for the Lamia, which increases all of her basic relevant properties. Increased stun and blight and speed is going to be really good for her. So that seems worth it to me. And 30 Crust is definitely nice. That's one-sixth of a Cole Ross in the conversion chart here. Uh, let's run down the crew. I feel pretty good about the crew at the very least. We got up front, we got Autumn Greer. Autumn Greer is running a, uh, so she's a Warren's tactician. She's going to be doing extra damage automatically. And she's running a, uh, like a crit build here um, with the uh, Prima Oculus and the Focus Ring. She's not going to be missing 29% base crit chance plus what comes from these which means like 40 percent chance to crit it's really good i'm, I'm gonna dps race this fuck whip uh does that mean it's gonna work not necessarily because this shit's hard but scarlet defense as well very good uh might actually bring that little nugget to make that better because well maybe not though because it's uh it might get removed anyway well she can't uh well yeah anywho uh second position here we got contest winner also got the focus ring uh, for a little bit of additional crit, but mostly for the extra accuracy. Um, I'm remembering that you miss a lot in Champion Dungeons. Also has the cauterizing frost flame, the really cool backup healing uh, thing. I have a lot of backup healing on this crew. Um, and I locked in Blunt for additional stun chance for this uh, dragon breath attack. Um, he's definitely got some like... Oh, his healing skills are actually reduced. I wonder if that counts towards the uh, cauterizing frost flame. Thing. I should get rid of that. It'd be expensive. And I gotta get rid of these uh, these two things. I don't really put these together, but these are bad. Let's get rid of those next time. Uh, third position, we got Will Hughes. Will Hughes is spec for healing. No surprise here. Uh, Scarlet Resistance. Real good. Um, yeah, just gonna be heal bot, basically. Hopefully keeping everyone alive. While Allison Baker is in the back. Um, lots of really good damage potential. Um, I spec her for damage and crit, but really... I needed her speed to be around here. So she goes before the uh, Swine God, but after Wilbur. And she's mostly going to be clearing the marks. Um, this is, you know, we've done this fight before. We know how this works. So let's, uh, and we're going to bring some of these. We'll bring two stacks of those. And then we're going to bring provisions. Um, the biggest problem with this fight is getting people stunned. Uh, at the champion level. And that is a real problem. Uh, here, let's learn the story. The great thing I had managed to bring through was brutish and stupid. Moreover, it required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. After all, I had a village full of it. Well, that's really unfortunate. The ancestor, not a good dude. Not a good dude at all. A nameless abomination. So he's going to be in the upper left corner. No scout off the top, which is unfortunate. Let's do it. Um, really, depending on... Uh, ooh. That is a lucky find. We're going to be able to get to him without... Maybe without doing a fight. Well. Ooh. Swine Tomahawk. So the Fury Zerker is my... My fear here, but let's gonna get rid of the little little man first. Actually, we'll we'll dragon's breath this. We have a lot of torches. Get the stun, please. All right, I'll take it. Um, the fury zerker is the one who's gonna get worse every time I hit him. So let's concentrate on everyone else first. Pretty good bleed. 
as the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Allison's doing really good damage. Yeah, he's going to get better every time he hits me, actually, too. And when he gets hit. This is a really nasty enemy. Uh-oh. Okay, is that just a mark? A mark and a buff for the whole team. Yipes. Okay, that's a yipes for me, fam. Um, yeah. All right, you can use some healing contest winner, but you're almost dead. Like, you're half. You're not almost dead. Good dodge. Thank you. I like it. Um, you can't really hit position one. That's okay. All right, you, however, can hit position one. There we go. That big crit build. And those big heals. Yeah. I got topics from Twitter. Good resist. Allison, go. Um, let's not use any torchlight here. Let's actually uh, give everyone a restoration here. So everyone gets topped off after battle. It's going to hurt you guys a little bit, but you guys are going to heal up for more than that. I have to remember, actually. Ooh, that was nasty. Uh, that's interesting. I can't really do that full group heal during the battle, because if the uh, Arbalist has nine speed, that's very problematic, actually. Um, so we need to make sure that doesn't happen. That's interesting. I didn't really put that together. Um, that's okay. Feeling all right about it. I think I can avoid doing that. Flash forward to me 100% not remembering to avoid doing that. Uh, Elijah Webb asked me on Twitter, what is the media that scared me irrationally as a child? Um, okay, there's definitely going to be a fight. Uh, those books are worthless. Um, children's media was scarier when I was growing up. I'm uh, I'm 39 years old. Hell yeah. I'd love to see it. Um, I am 39 years old. That means that uh, years... Okay, you got to go, Pilot Filth. Uh, years 1 through 10 were spent... Um, I could go for this guy as well. You're going to heal everybody, but also, like, you're pretty tanky. Should I concentrate on you? Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, the crit build. Um, so that means that uh, years 1 through 10 were years 1980 through uh, 1989, which was a golden age for surprisingly uh, dark children's stuff like uh one of my all-time favorite movies and definitely my favorite movie as a kid was the movie labyrinth with david bowie the jim henson movie we watched that a million times um this thing is so nasty uh he gets more damage if i hit him than if he hits me all right that is good to know oh the crit heal on you though I'm like really unfortunate um So that movie, uh, I love it. It's really dark and weird. The helping hands, the fireys, you know, all that stuff. Extremely dark. Uh, Mrs. Brisby and the Rats of Nim scared the hell out of me. That movie's dark as hell. Uh, just absolutely, you know, nasty stuff. Um, you know, very, very scary. Uh, another big touchstone was Return to Oz. I know that's a very common answer for scary kids' movies, but, like, movies bonkers. Uh, that is uh, extremely scary and cool. <laughs> Get the stuns. So only I ever gets one of the stuns. All right, let's concentrate on you, I guess. This is a really insidiously designed, like, mini-boss-style enemy almost. Uh, you need healing, actually. What am I doing? Like you are just you're just very nasty. 19 damage though. 
Very nasty boy. Get the crit. Ugh. And he just gets worse. That's 180 per 32 damage, though. If I lose my Vestal, I cannot do this uh, <laughs> this fight. So if, if I use that uh, buff, friendly skills do negative 2 HP. So that will kill her or possibly death's door her. Let's not do that. Okay, got the kill. Did not get the stun, which would have been really nice. Let a healer go. All right, that's not a healer. Cannot get the stun. Kill him. All right. Okay, healer. Thank goodness. Her being on death's door sucks. Like, I'll be able to... Thank you. Like, I'll be able to get her healed up for the battle, but those death's door debuffs suck. Yep, he was going to target her, too. Fucking knew it. Brick. Um, now I can give everybody a heal. She'll survive it, and the restoration will do better. All right. So fucking nasty. I'd love, like, there are ways to get rid of the uh, Death Store debuffs, but they're all camping skills I don't think I have. Give them no quarter. All right. Definitely want that. So clearly in view. Eat the bacon. Eat some food. We'll go get this treasure chest afterwards. All right, good scout. Am I gonna have a fight in the hallway? No. Okay. That means I can camp for buffs. Let's do. A moment of respite. Everyone's good on health. Steal oneself against the coming hall. All right, I would like to prevent the ambush. You, I'm gonna do sharpen spear and battle trance. I want to put all my eggs in this basket. She's going to be my primary damage dealer. I think so. And then I can also give crit model player in first round only. I don't care about that. Field dressing. I wish I had enough for marching plan. Um, see, and this thing does better if you have mortality debuffs. So it healed her better, but it doesn't get rid of them. There are ways to get rid of them. Combustion. Herself. Plus, an accuracy might be good just to make sure she doesn't miss. Yeah. So, Autumn is just going to absolutely wreck shop here. The is the intention. Um, I didn't actually need to do that because I had a restoration. I think I can actually just open this now. I do not know that I'll be in any condition to. Uh, to explore after this because this is this boss not fucking around um yes okay 70 oh yeah nobody's really good at disarming traps either i don't have a thief on the squad good job thank you autumn all right let's uh fight the fucking swine god a uh, little nervous I think this fight is hard. It is a travesty. A okay, don't stun my Arbalest. All right, well, that's exactly... Oh, but I can clear this stun with the Arcanist. Hell yes. You can't fuck with me. The arcanist uh, Arbalest combo is good in this fight. I didn't really put that together, but... Yeah, fuck you. I ain't gonna get marked. Your accuracy is shit. I mean, you still might absolutely body me. <laughs> uh, she cannot get the stun. So I guess I'm just going to plink him down. I don't think there's anything else that's like 270 hit points, though. Autumn, I need you to do that. Yes. Yeah, see, I can handle your wild flails. This little guy, though. All right. Stunning the uh, Arcanist. A bummer, but okay. Keep hammering him down. Okay. We're going to get a heal and clear the mark. Okay, no mark. Wild flail. Okay, that's a lot of damage. 
Okay. Stunning her sucks. I would love to resist a stun at some point. But that means that's your time to shine. If I can clear the stun and give her more damage. Like, I don't see why I wouldn't do this. The Arcanist can do some good damage, but support Arcanist and also giving the uh, restoration. I think support Arcanist makes a lot of sense for this uh, this fight. All right, we'll clear the stun. We'll clear the mark. All right, get the... It's not a crit, but that's okay. We're slow and steady doing it. And then I want you to heal. You're going to judgment yourself for the heal. To... Oh, good crit. Yeah, there we go. Good, good, good. Everything's going fine so far. I promise this can go bad really quick. So, like, for example, that was his bad attack. And that just almost killed, like, almost one-shotted. Also, I didn't stun uh, her. That's great. Um, oh, he only gets to use that a few times per round. Well, that's really unfortunate. Let's go invisible. For the restoration. So the double thing can attack him, but this guy should not be able to target him. No, it doesn't. Not that it matters, because I'm not going to. So they could wild. He can't wild flail him. Okay, good. Oh, my goodness. All right. You can see how this is not okay. I'm going to end up with some people at Death's Door. Basically, no matter what. And the idea is having to get them off of Death's Door. I wish that I had... Uh, yeah, okay, good. No stuff. Oh, okay. Well. I can't give everybody the speed. That's a big mistake. Let's start just doing damage, though. And he's not going to get the stun. So 35% uh, damage, 120, 140. Yeah, he's not going to get the stun. So let's Frostfire him. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. So he might wild flail and hit her, and that would be extremely bad. Clear the mark. And hope that he hits... There we go. Good target. Way too much damage, but good target. No, 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 no. Don't... Uh... Okay, thank you for not stunning that crew. Yeah. So for anybody asking, like, hey, why don't you just kill the little guy? Uh, that turns him into... Ooh, crit on the uh, restoration. That's great. Oh, my goodness. I should have been doing that from the start. I mean, I don't know if that's actually true, but... Um, there we go. We, we got this, but... We have lucked out, and also this is nasty. Um, so if you kill the little guy, the big guy starts doing a full party attack that hits everyone for huge damage. The accuracy is not huge, and there is a strategy for this guy where you uh, let him do that. There we go. Yeah. Full full party stun here, probably. No? Okay. Um, one shot the Wilbur. Hell yes. Ooh, baby. Ooh, the Adder's Scales is a Warren's Trinket. What does that mean? Adder's Kiss, 20% damage, extra protection. That's good. And the Grubby Handkerchief. That's fine. Um, what do I want to get rid of? Good fight, ultimately. Turned out okay. Um, I mean, we'll get rid of provisions, because we can leave if things get horrible. Don't care, don't care. Do care? So we're going to keep these because I can use them a lot for food to heal up and maybe explore a little bit more. And getting a little extra food would be nice because I like to heal. And I only have enough for three food checks. I'm probably get rid of shovels because if I run into a wall, I can take off. And I probably don't need eight torches. So let's do this in case I need it. Well done. We'll grab this treasure. I'm nervous because I'm not in good shape, actually. We might do some exploration to try to, like, see what we can get without doing a battle. I'd hate to lose somebody after 
the uh, the battle. That would be silly as hell. Let's actually do that. Feel a little bit more comfortable now. Go to that curio. We will go down to the treasure room. I'm just not taking the uh, mystery hallway through it because I wanted. Uh, all right, so enough for one more hunger check. I understand that's like a little blue ballsy for content. Like when people want, you know, kind of more content. Uh, from this, which I understand, but also, like, shit's scary. I do not want to lose any of my level 6 characters again. I'm still feeling the sting from losing my dear departed Cole Ross the boy. The boy. The boy. Um, Harris, uh, Harris uh, Alger asks, under what circumstances is it okay to rate your Uber one star? Um... Let's actually get the big heal on everybody. Um, that's a good question. I always feel mixed about that. I've, I've told a story a lot about, like, the, or several times about the ethical challenge I had where I had the uh, racist transphobic uh, Uber driver who, like, 1,000% saved my ass. And, like, you know, it was, like, 3 in the morning and went the extra mile to like find where I was at when other Uber drivers had given up and stuff. Um, so I told that story before. Um, and I gave that guy two and a, I gave him like split the difference cause he held me out, but also he's a piece of shit. I think uh, in general, like one star is if you think they're actually doing something. Oh, I love crits. Uh, extremely harmful. So, like, racism, sexism, being dangerous, um, you know, like, driving like an asshole, things like that. Um, but doing a three-star, which doesn't ruin their, like, absolutely ruin their livelihood. Although, whatever quirk that is. Must be the Scarlet Resistance. A spiritual? Yeah, yeah. Um... Ruining their, that doesn't ruin their livelihood, but it does mean you'll never get them again. And I will, that was worth a shot. Um, I will like do a lot to like, just never have to deal with somebody who I think sucks again. Uh oh. All right, that's okay. Oof. Well, is it okay though? Inspiration and improvement. Thank you. You can stun somebody. But you're too hard to stun. This is a, a silly thing to do, but we're going to do it. And it ended up being good. So, kill him. Um, so, I don't know. I think that for non harmful things, if someone's just annoying, you know, like I, I've had a, a Lyft or Uber driver who just like spent the entire drive doing like team building, get to know you questions with me. Um,. Like a non-stop stream of... Uh, oh, you can still do Frostfire from back here. Back position Arcanist is something that like I should experiment with. Because he's not... He's pretty squishy. I didn't realize he could still do that from up there. Um, but like the whole was like, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you travel? Uh, basically did that the whole time. And... Uh, I, I couldn't handle it. Like, I don't like... I can make small talk with, with uh, Uber and Lyft drivers. I don't mind it. Um, depending on the day. Like, sometimes, though, I just... I, I can't. And uh, I try to be direct when I can't. Like, never rude. But I do try to say, like, Hey, you know, no, I'm not trying to be mean, but, like, I'm just having kind of a weird day. Do you mind if, if we're just, you know, if we're just kind of quiet? And people respond to that pretty well. You know, nobody is, ooh, I would like this stuff. Um, nobody really struggles with that. I think that, like, that is honestly pretty reasonable of an ask. And I think it is fine in other social situations as well, where you can be like, did I keep the uh, debuff things? No, fuck. Um, I mean, it would just matter for this one battle, but... We're going to do this battle, replace our food. And that, that definitely tells us that it's time to go. Um, so, yeah. I will do that. I'll do annoying. I'll do a, a less than one. But one star is... is uh, This is a really nasty fight. Because these things are going to 
buff and cure this guy who is a fucker. Um, we got to kill this uh, swine tar quick. So that's how I feel. The other question uh, Harris asked was, uh, what's the ideal restaurant description? Um, I don't know exactly what that means um, as far as, you know, a description. Um, my favorite kind of food ever is Southern uh, soul food. It's like barbecue, spicy chicken. You know, uh, I went down and visited the Greers, had like boudin and, uh, you know, these, these different like Louisiana foods were incredibly good. So Southern food is my favorite kind of food. This fight's going to be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Go to hell, you little things. You piggies heads. Um, I had DPS race these little shits. Thank you. Okay, I need these big crits to out DPS this fuckwit. Yeah. See, I know. Um, they can't be stunned. If she decided to try to kill them, she's doing two to five damage though. This is the worst. What a horrendous fight. It's gonna get a couple charges on me for sure. All right. Maybe they can only do flies to the rot when they're up front or something. A crit for seven. Oh, and his protection gets buffed too when they do that. That sucks. Oh man. All right, I have to kill the little things. He's gonna end up being fully healed. 80% protection? And pig spears with impunity? I can bleed him maybe. 60% bleed. Four for three. That's not gonna outpace the damage. We gotta, these things gotta go. This sucks. I'm, I'm like, kinda tended to run from this, not to be a little baby, but like, it's gonna take a million years and this treasure chest, I promise, is not going to be worth it. Uh, and what I would get for running is some stress. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that stress is a bummer, friends. You'll be fine. You get some time off in the hamlet. All right, let's go. Uh, my ideal restaurant description would be like lots of soul food, I guess, is my point. Uh, I love barbecue and uh, pimento cheese. Come on. Natural Eye is really, oh well, no, it's not good for her, but replace Short Temper, which is fine. Lamentful is irrelevant. Assuaging, that's fine. Uh, Ruined Tactician is probably better. Impotent is bad. Stress Faster, replace Natural, that's good, actually. And the Fits. Boy, Allison had a rough one for that. I wonder what why that is. Uh, there is like a rhyme or reason to what happens with those quirks. Like there are things that can make, uh, you get worse quirks or worse diseases and stuff. Like if you take a lot of stress, that does it. Um, when you beat a boss, you're less likely to get bad stuff usually. So I'm kind of surprised that happened. MVP has to be Al uh, Autumn rather. Allison is why we won because clearing the marks, we would have lost. But Autumn is also why we won because doing like 160 damage to the boss. And I, uh, I'm i an absolute sucker for like gigantic crit numbers. Can't lie. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I will see you next time, and uh, take care. Bye.